Kuzu Zambola. Welcome to Bhutan e-learning. My name is Pratap Tamang, working in Gomtu Hasegin School, Samsi Zonkab. How are you kids? I hope you all are doing good. Today, we all are here again with another exciting art activity. So here, I welcome you to the art class. And the topic for today's lesson is block printing. Well, we have already done vegetable printing, but today we have block printing. It sounds quite similar, but let me tell you what is block printing. Block printing is a technique of creating an image or a pattern. With block printing, we can make multiple copies of images, patterns, designs, and prints. So today in this class, we all are going to make block by ourselves and we're, we all are going to make design, carved design on the block ourselves and we're going to create our beautiful art using that block print. So before we go with our actual activity, let me tell you the objectives of the lesson. Number one, create an art using block prints. Number two, use various block prints to make an art. Before we start with the activities, let me show you the materials required for today's activities. Okay, I have here two vegetables, potato and a carrot. So I have chosen these two, potato and carrot, because it's easy for us to carve design on it for making block prints. And beside that, we need a knife. And of course, we need a sketch pen and we need different colors and finally we need brush okay so these are the materials we need for today's block printing activities so for our activity for the first activity first block printing activity let's use potato as a block print so here I take potato and with a knife I'm going to cut potato into half so here I cut the potato into half and on one half I'll make design. Please make sure that you get help from your parents or elder people while using knife to make design. I've done with my printing now let me add other color to make it more interesting okay now let me add green color on the print and make it more interesting so I'm gonna add some green color and let's see what it looks like okay so 
i add the same color in another picture too so with this i'm adding the green color in all the prints with the simple design that i have curved on this pocket i have printed here on the on the paper and with little addition of green color now let me show you how it looks can you name what is this yes absolutely you are right this is pineapple similarly let's try with another design now let me take other half part of the potato and let me carve design here if you think there is water here please make sure you rub it with clean cloth so that now it's dry you can make the design the outline design here now i'm just making simple outline of a design so i have made the mark now i'm going to use knife to cut it so let me start this way please be very careful while using knife as i said ask help from your parents or elders while cutting vegetable So will you take it out so that while printing you get the actual print of the design you have made Okay, so then my simple design is ready. Now I'm going to apply color here and make the print. So let me use green color. Okay, now this print I'm going to. make it here i'm going to keep it here okay let me apply 
some more color it's done now now you can see a kind of a picture I have made here out of the block pin so to make it more attractive let me add some spiky leaves here which looks like a bamboo spiky leaves so now you see we can see a shape of bamboo that's made using the block print made on pajeto now let us try with another print let's use the same use pajeto for another print So now here I got the shape, so I'm going to rub this off. Now here I'm going to make the shape of a leaf. Okay, so here you get the outline of a leaf, so here I'm going to cut this. Okay, now you have the shape of leaf. If you want, you can still make the outline. You can cut the outline and make it into a better shape. So here I'm done with the outline design. Now I'm going to apply color and make the prints. This time I'm going to use blue paper. Here I have even made the frame so that it looks more attractive. Let me use white color. It's done now. 
Okay, this way you can make the multiple copies of the block print made on potato. All right, children. Now let's do with carrot. As I have said, we also have carrot for the activity. Now let's try to make the design on the carrot. So here I'm going to cut carrot. Okay, here I'm going to make simple design. Now let's make star. Okay, so just for okay, I have made the, the outer line. Now I'm going to cut accordingly. few more final one okay now here my design is ready so I'm going to apply color and make the prints okay so now this time let me use blue color So with this, you can make multiple copies of same prints. Okay. okay, so this is how we make the multiple copies from the block print. Okay, let's try one more time with carrot with another design. Let me use the other half of part of the carrot. Now here, let me make the outline of the design. Let me make a flower this time. carefully okay. okay one more time okay the outer part of design is completed now let me make small here inside here so i want to take this out okay so here the outline design of my flower is ready now i'm going to apply color and make the prints This way you can make many designs as you want. Okay. You can even make frame 
and uh, put the decoration but here I'm going to make uh, put it in the on the plain paper so here let me use okay, let me use the pink color see the prints here you can make multiple prints with one block print so this is how you can make many prints using block print and similar designs you can use it to make a beautiful art as you like so let's try to put all the design together and make one creative art Let me use this first. Okay. Okay. Now let me add some more. Little more color some more prints okay so now we are trying to make a creative art using all the prints that we have made now let me use the one we have already made the leaf that we have designed on the potato so let me use green color So now you can see with using two block prints I have created an art it's a beautiful picture so don't you think this one has a beautiful creation so similarly I think you can go with a lot more creativity with the block print so this is how we have created artwork using our block print now here I have made outline of a t-shirt so here let me try with another design that i have made on carrot so here let me try with different colors this time let me try with yellow so now i'm going to print this So here on my t-shirt I have made a new design with my block print okay children here I have few other artwork made out of block prints uh, I have here a simple prints made out of block prints I have another design of prints made out of block prints and here here I have another one I also have here leaf made out of block prints and uh, of course I have the bamboo I also have the same one again okay so these are the uh, artworks that I made out of the block prints okay children let's look at what we did today first we made our mattress ready then we cut the potato and the carrot and we carved the design on it third we applied the colors on the design then fourth we pressed gently on the paper 
That's how we made the block printing art. Now, let's look at some of the questions that you all must be doing at home. Number one, how did you feel about the lesson today? Can you find anything around where block printing technique is used to make multiple prints? Can you think of some of the materials that you can use to make prints? Write a brief reflection on today's lesson. Okay, before we end up our class, let me remind you a few safety measures. First thing, whenever you make design on the vegetable, please make sure that you get help from your parents or elders while using knife. Second thing to remember, after completing the work, whatever the waste you have, please throw it in the proper place. And the third and the most important one, whatever the works you do, please preserve it. Put in the frame and display at home. You love it when you see your own work. Now with this, we have come to the end of our today's class. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. And I'm very sure you can come up with many such creativity staying at home. So I wish you all the best. Stay safe at home. Keep learning and be more creative. Thank you.